Hey folks, we're just gonna have a look at um, a bit of a diagnostic job here on the 2008 Volvo uh, V50 1.6. It's um, customers had it in a couple of places now, and this like keeps coming back on. So we're gonna sit down, have a look, and go through our diagnostic process, and we we'll show you what we do. So I'm here in the car now. I've just started it, and as soon as I started, the fault comes up on the dash. Engine system service urgent. I'll turn around and show you now. So you can see engine system service urgent so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to plug in our diagnostic computer and see where the what direction we're going to go okay so i ran a full system search on it and as we can see we have a fault in the engine control module and a fault in the additive dosing module um i would imagine they're both related i'll go a little bit we'll just go report So, additive dosing module, qualifier unknown, and additive level sensor, faulty signal. Uh, so, I'm going to look into these two, and we're going to go from there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the additive dosing module. I'm going to read the trouble codes inside and out, just in case there's anything missing. So we have to follow the fault. Additive level sensor, faulty signal. Okay, escape out of that. And let's have look at some live data. Um, so tank level gauge activated, no. Okay, we'll look further into that. So what we've done, we've identified the faults in the car. We're able to replicate it. I've read the fault codes on the diagnostic computer and I've identified all the components in the system so the next thing i'm going to do is a little bit of testing and we'll go from there okay so we've printed out this audit out of wiring diagram i've identified the components that i want to test which is uh the dosing module and the gauge because it's additive level sensors default and um, now i notice on this audit diagram we're missing two wires but i've identified them at the actual control module in the car so i'll test it from there um, i'm going to put the battery on a stable charge and i'm going to take a known good earth from the battery negative terminal just as a reference okay so we have our battery stabilizer on set at 14.2 volts um, we've taken a known good earth in here for reference for for the scope and do a few tests on the vehicle and i'm going to go back to the module now and show you okay so we're here at the back door of the car i've identified our module um which is located under the back seat bolted to the floor Um i've had a quick look at it there's eight wires in the plug and there's only six wires shown on the auto data diagram but i'll worry about that now in a second i have um I'm assuming the other two wires are for the level sensor down at the tank as there's four wires going into the tank module so I can presume power and earth and then your level sensor so I'm gonna have a quick look at that and see if we can uh, diagnose this okay so I've confirmed that the pump is working uh, through manually operating it um, but this gauge and the two extra wires, the white and the brown, there's nothing coming out and obviously nothing coming back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to de-pin this and I'm going to send the signal back and see if I can erase the fault by um, fooling the system. Okay, so I've double checked and um, I tapped into our gauge wiring. I don't know if you can see that. Um, when I look at the scope, we're at zero volts. So we've no voltage going in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use an AutoSim Pro. I'm going to generate a signal by putting a voltage in here. I'm watching. 
as you can see, the voltage is increasing as I increase it up to 12 volts. And 12 volts is equal to 2 volts on this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the faults in the system and I'm going to start the car and see if a fault comes back into it. Okay, so I've cleared the faults. Um, we're going to cycle the ignition and I'm going to start the car and see if that uh, original fault comes back into the car. Okay, so, so far so good. Uh, I'm just going to back onto the diagnostic computer and have a look and make a reading. So I'm just carrying out an additive reset, an additive gauge reset um, on the computer here. Uh, we'll just wait a second and see what happens. Uh, level and additive, additive tank is full, which is correct. So the last time we tried that additive reset, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't complete. Um, by the testing and what we've done, we filled the car into thinking the additive tank is full. When we carry out the reset, it confirms that the tank is full through reading through the ECU on the module, but we also prove that the module is faulty. It's a really expensive part. It's not something you want to be thrown into your car um, on, a, on, a, on a guess. Um, it's worth spending the time diagnosing the property. Thanks.